Hi everyone, this is Sean for PDF Exchange and today we're going to take a look at Optical Character Recognition or OCR with PDF Exchange Editor. So first of all, what is Optical Character Recognition? OCR is the electronic or mechanical conversion of images of typed or printed text into machine encoded text. The source text can be from a scan document, a photo of a document, a scene photo, for example the text on signs and billboards in a landscape photo, or from subtitle text superimposed on an image, for example from a television broadcast. This also means that OCR can be used as a form of data entry from paper records into digital records, for example with passports, invoices, bank statements, computerized receipts, business cards, mail, printed data, or any other suitable documentation. It's a common method of digitizing printed texts so that they can be electronically edited, searched, stored more compactly, displayed online, and used in machine processes such as cognitive computing, machine translation, extracted text-to-speech, key data, and text mining. In the context of PDF files, this usually means converting scanned documents into documents that contain editable text. This means that you can scan paper documents or photographs into electronic format and then be able to edit the document as a normal text-based document. In PDF Exchange Editor, there are two OCI engines available. The default OCI engine is included in all versions of the software. The enhanced OCI engine is available with a PDF Exchange Editor Plus license only. So let's take a look at a scanned document. As you can see, this document is a scanned paper letter and as a result, the document content is a single image that can't be edited beyond the normal editing options for images. If we look in the content pane here, we'll see it's simply an image and nothing more. So to perform OCR on the document, we click the Convert tab, then we click OCR Pages. We can then see that a range of settings are available for OCR. We can specify the page range on which we want to perform OCR, as well as the language that we want to recognize in the process of doing so, in this case English. We can also set PDF Exchange Editor to recognize and account for page content that may have been skewed when the document was scanned as, as well as incorrect page rotation using these options down here. We can also choose to ignore existing text, comments and form fields on the page, although those don't apply in this case. There appears to be text on the page of course, but that is in fact an image of text and not actual text as recognized within the PDF. So we can then specify which type of OCR we want to perform and there are three options here. The first option is searchable image, which ensures that the text is searchable and selectable. This option retains the existing content and places an identical invisible text layer over the image based text, which has the effect of making the text selectable and searchable. And this is the only type of OCR that is permitted with the default OCR engine. So that's this option here, searchable image. The second option is editable text and images, which replaces image-based text in source documents with the text recognized in the process of optical character recognition. This option will convert image-based text into editable text and retain existing content such as text and images. The third option, is fine page content, which replaces the content of source documents with new content that contains only the text and images recognized during optical character recognition. It's important to note too that in some cases, for example, documents that contain one large graphic zone that takes up the whole page and has some text over it, the visual output for the editable text and images and fine page content options will be very similar. Okay, so we can look at a couple of examples now. First, let's take a look at the searchable image setting. So we first need to select searchable image here, and then we just click OK. Then we just wait for the OCR to be performed, and we can see that right away, all the text in the document is recognized and returned in the content pane over here. If we search for text, we can locate it very quickly in the document. So for example, we search for the, we'll see it's recognized instantly in the document. So the text becomes searchable and we can also see that it's selectable. So 
So next we can take a look at using editable text and images. And we're gonna look at a different document this time. So we select to OCR again, but this time we're gonna use editable text and images as the setting, and we're gonna change the language to check. And we click OK. And now we can see that the text is selectable and searchable as it was in the previous example but we now also have the option of editing it as we choose. So for example, we go here, we select edit text and we can edit it as we would a normal text document. This enables the conversion of scanned documents to fully editable text documents. And with this document, we can see the excellent quality output when we perform OCR on scanned and over compressed pictures. So the third option for OCR is the fine page content OCR option, which replaces the original page content with the new content that contains only the text and images recognized during the process of optical character recognition. You can use this option to simplify or purify the content of scanned pages. For example, in this document, we have a photograph of a page from a book. So we're gonna perform OCR on it using fine page content. Click OK. And we'll see that only the text from the source document is retained and the blurred background, which is under, undesirable, is removed. And we'll be able to edit the text as before once the OCR has been performed. So now we have the full document. We can see the text here as before, and we can edit the text as desired. And another feature worth noting is that it's possible to perform OCR on only a selected region of documents. So we can undo the OCR operation we performed on this document, and then we can go to the snapshot tool, and we can select a specified area of the document if we want to perform OCR on this and nowhere else in the document. So we snapshot it, then we right click in, and then we select OCR selected region, and we set up the settings as desired from before. It'll perform OCR, but only the selected part of the document will have the OCR performed on it. So that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it instructive, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.